गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इज अवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट द इन्फ्लेमेशन इन्फ्लेमेशन एयर अ स्लाइड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दैट सम ऑफ द कॉमन आई थिंक इन ऑल द वर्ड्स लाइक अपेंडिसाइटिस आर्ट्राइटिस कोलिस्टाइटिस हेपेटाइटिस गैस्ट्राइटिस आई टी एस आई टी आई एस मीन्स सम काइंड ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन सो लेट Uh, begin with the topic inflammation so inflammation it is a typical pathological process which arises after damage of tissue and consists of three main vessel tissue compartment or components like alteration violation of the microcirculation exudation or migration we will talk about the exudate and transudate in the later and proliferation like it is inflammation is a typical pathological process as common irregularities which always are present and don't depend on the cause localization species of an organism and it, its individual features so classification after the uh, inflammation definition uh, classification is depending upon the clinical course depending upon the manifestation of the clinical signs like acute chronic like hypergic and hypergic and normergic like depending upon the any stage like alternative exudate and proliferate etiology like uh, force and duration of the agent implants should be stronger and adaptive possibilities of a tissue the exogen means physical hard pressure on a tissue and uh, lower temperature ionizing and ultraviolet rays and uh, low barometric pressure chemical include the acid alkali salt of the heavy metals biological include the microorganisms bacteria virus meiotic agents animal organism and worms antigens include the colic acids complex antigens antibodies hematoma production of the intoxication it is exogen and endogen stages alteration exudation and proliferation this is the alteration alteration of the those stages of, uh, of the inflammation include the alteration exudation and proliferation alteration means the changes during the inflammatory state exudation and the proliferation so local signs include swelling redness heat pain and loss of function this is these are the local signs by the cell and the gland so roman physician tell us describe the four signs swelling redness heat and pain greek physician gland at the fifth one the loss of function so so these are the structure of the cell including the inflammation and the things is going uh, under the condition of the inflammation so general signs include fever result from the one when in influence of the thermoregulatory center ex, uh, excreted by the macrophages and the neutrophils the leukocytes is a result of leukocytes are from the uh, from the deport of the leukocytes and the proliferation the protein of the acquired fast inflammation it contain to increase in the blood on 50% by synthesis mainly in liver the esr increase and the intoxication pathogens is as i told you it is a result of the pathological agent influence on a tissue so damage of the tissue and the formation of the biological active sometimes are the main effect of the alteration so mediators of the inflammation grows uh, it is the biological active substance which synthesizes are excreted in the area of inflammation and can and can use its progression like humoral and cellular remain histamine serotonin in monokines prostaglandins leuco trying then lysosomal enzymes so histamines like vasodilation increase the permeability of the capillaries activation of the leukocytes mutation stimulation of the phagocytosis increase of the adherence properties of the vessel of the helium and after that the pain interleukin 1 the muscle pain joint pain cns somnolence uh, liver protein activation thermoregulation center will macro circulation violation uh, the short time spasm of the vessel uh, the arterial hyper, uh, hyperemia the second is the venous hyperemia uh, the fourth stage is the first stage and the fifth stage is the stasis
Excitation and doubled plasma penetration through the vessel wall and accumulation in the area of the injured tissues. It can use swelling, pain, and loss of function. Excitation depends on the microcirculation uh, violation because of the uh, hemoconcentration, aggregation of the erythrocytes, and the platelets. But in time, but in time, while condition microcirculation become worse. So excitation is like a plasma. Penetration through the vessel of the, and the wall of the accumulation in the in the, in the injured area. Sometimes it may also cause the infection at that area. Mechanism of excitation: increasing the vessel permeability, increasing the hydrostatic pressure in the vessel, increasing the oncotic and the osmotic pressure, like the uh, pressure in the uh, in the compartments. Um, and inflammatory area like the vascular pressure and the plasma protein pressure like vasodilation occurs endothelial concentration exudation exudation is exudation when the liquid is moved from outside of the compartment of the cell with uh, a rich a rich plasma migration of the liquid stages and at standing penetration through the vessel wall in most cases the inflammation you took is migrate the, the first process lasts as 24 hours in 24 to 48 hours the monocytes emigrate most effectively lymphocytes emigrate a little bit later phagocytosis is the approachment attachment ingestion and digestion it is called phagocytosis the engulfing of the uh, infection by the uh, like uh, white blood cells Cell inflammation, lymphocyte, it, it is uh, macroscopic tissue macrophages. Type of exudate, serous, fibrous, purulent, rotten, and hemorrhagic. Serous inflammation develops the mucus and the serous membrane into tissue, tissue, skin, and the kidney, uh, glomes, capsules. The inflammation type connects to the exudate, the fibrinous, it contains the blending of fibrinogen, which from the clots. Uh, which from the clots uh, uh, occurrence when an organism is affected by the corny bacterium pneumococcus, it is yes, it such type of an inflammation occur mucus and a serious course more than often. Purulent inflammation is reason of the cervicocus. Uh, purulent is exuded small, but consists of many of the viable um, lymphocytes and purulent bodies. It is, is characterized by the low pH. The, uh, the routing inflammation. Routing inflammation will after the invasion of the rotten after the invasion means the blast of the cell in the microorganism to the purulent inflammation site. During this type of inflammation, acidosis of the injured tissue organized inflammation area is not localized, and this provokes the penetration of the alien agent and toxic uh, products in the vessel. The development of the intoxicants is due to the which patient usually dies. Hemorrhagic inflammation. Hemorrhagic inflammation as the form of the serous inflammation, fibrinous, one or more virulent one. So uh, in this kind of inflammation, it is characterized by the it is characterized by the erythrocytes. So in, in erythrocytes, uh, impurity of the exudate like Siberian ulcer, natural smallpox, and influenza. So it is uh, uh, like in proliferative phase, like the tissue regeneration is dependent upon the interaction of the connective tissue cell between each other, interaction between the connective tissue and the fibrinous element, and the interaction of the connective tissue cells, blood cells, and the parenchymal cell, the, the granulous tissues. In young connective tissues with a lot of vessels, these tissues cover the wound and the ulcer skin defects it form during the damage of the mucous membrane and internal organs during the wound fracture, hematoma granulation, necrosis, and all the things during the chronic inflammation. So function does include the covering of defected trophy, macro morphogenetic encapsulation, reconstruction. Thank you so much, guys.